we need to how manpower which will be future ready so now again it's a different generation mm. we don't want jo- job seekers <laughs> we want job creators, creators. hello and welcome to another insightful episode of icmr radio unpacking health research in india the podcast series where you hear directly from the leading scientists and researchers at the Indian Council of Medical Research as they demystify ICMR's latest public health initiatives, biomedical research and innovations for us all. Today we have the privilege of speaking with Dr. Anoop Anvikar, the director of ICMR National Institute of Malaria Research in New Delhi and the dean of faculty of medical research, FMR at the Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research also known as ACSIR. Now in this episode, we're going to delve into the strategic partnership between ICMR and ACSIR, a collaboration that sets the stage for groundbreaking advancements in biomedical education and research. Now Dr. Anvikar will share his valuable insights on this partnership, particularly on how it will strengthen medical research in India and benefit PhD and postgraduate students. Sir, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. But first up, I think for all of our viewers here, what is ACSIR and what is this collaboration between ICMR and ACSIR? If you could tell us a little about that. The Academy of uh, Scientific and Innovative Research or ACSIR. So it was created in the year 2010 as an institute of national importance under the Act of Parliament. Okay. And uh, it uh, currently has over 8,000 students pursuing their PhD or master's courses or diploma courses or the dual uh, degree and PhD programs. And uh, it is a unique uh, academy and it promotes the transdisciplinary research which could be helpful to the human beings. And Indian Council of Medical Research, we know it is over 100 years old body and it is the autonomous uh, organization under the Department of Health Research, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Hmm. Government of India. This uh, council has got 27 institutes situated in different parts of the country. Some work on some particular diseases, some of them are working in the different regions of the country. And ICMR uh, formulates uh, the research and also promotes the biomedical research in the country. So this is uh, the unique collaboration between the ICMR and the ACSIR. Okay, so so I think that's that's extremely interesting and I, I like the way that you broke it up so clearly for our viewers. But if I were to ask you, why is this collaboration significant uh, for ICMR's academic landscape and what transformations does it actually introduce? And more importantly, I think I would be keen to know that who stands to benefit from this partnership and what are the kind of advantages that they would get. Yeah, at the end of the day, the country uh, gets uh, benefit yes. uh, from this whole collaboration. See, ICMR is collaborating with ACSIR and the strengths of both the organizations will come together. See, ACSIR, as the name suggests, is the Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research. research. Yes. And... Uh, uh, Indian Council of Medical Research is for medical research. Yes. So we are adding medical research component uh, to the ACSIR. ACSIR already had uh, the different faculties like bioscience, physical science, mm. chemical science, engineering science. And now there is addition of the medical research to this. It will promote the transdisciplinary research in a real sense. So ICMR has been conducting medical research but with this our academic strength will be there and ACSIR will be awarding the PhD degrees and uh, all the ICMR institutes have now been affiliated to the ACSIR and it's not just limited to ICMR institutes Hmm. but also other institutes or organizations which are uh, conducting medical research so it will change the landscape how medical research is conducted in India. So previously, we have seen that uh, uh, 
uh, there were a lot of uh, PhDs coming out of ICMR institutes, but mostly in the field of the biomedical research and in the subjects like biotechnology or microbiology or biochemistry. But now sky is the limit. We can have PhD in medicine, PhD in ophthalmology, yeah. PhD in pediatrics. Of course, the umbrella will be PhD under the faculty of medical research. A follow-up really, but um, so essentially ACSIR is is also delving into areas and subjects that are not ordinarily a part of regular curriculums or something that, that you know you would ordinarily study. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Miss, uh, there are courses like say masters in uh, nutrition or sports nutrition. Right. Uh, so uh, there will be innovative courses. Uh, already there are many but then many more will be added to the portfolio considering the need of the country. Absolutely. And I think uh, I think then that this collaboration is, is really the need of the hour as we delve into different areas of, you know, uh, interest and research. So I would also be interested to know in, in what ways might this collaboration foster any kind of interdisciplinary approaches to medical research, bringing together experts, whether it's from, you know, various fields to tackle complex health issues, not just in India, but even globally. Yeah, of course. Let us go step by step. See, ACSIR has already got 82 institutes which are affiliated to it. Hmm. They include uh, all the CSIR institutes. They include ICMR institutes. There are few institutes of the Department of Science and Technology, then Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So you can see the wide array of the organizations which yes. are affiliated to ACSIR. Definitely we can collaborate with different organizations. Say if somebody is doing the PhD in nutrition, maybe then he can join hands with the agricultural research faculty as well. Absolutely. Or if somebody is uh, developing, uh, designing some diagnostic and they can collaborate with the students or with the faculty or the institutes from the engineering science and we can uh, have a good diagnostic device right. uh, by combining the strengths of uh, the two types of uh, institutes. So in a real sense, transdisciplinary research will be promoted uh, under this. There is the industrial arm to this also. Okay. And in fact, uh, ACSIR is now coming up with uh, uh, one program called as IPHD, uh, okay. which is an innovative uh, program yes. and also okay. industry linked program where we just don't produce the PhDs, but science pruners. I think that's the need of the hour, to be right? Ready for the future. Yes. And as you were talking about the global collaboration, means already the different ICMR institutes have got collaboration with the top organizations globally. ACSIR also has already landed up in memoranda of understanding with various universities across the globe. So it's a win win situation for all, uh, combining the strengths of everybody. So you used a very interesting term, science printers. And I want to ask you a little more about that because, um, you know, in, in a world and an ecosystem where everybody is so focused on Shark Tank, I think it's very, very important yeah. now that people in all instructions, whether they are in a creative field or a scientific field, understand the business side of things. Yeah. So could you tell me a little about a little more or elaborate a little more on that aspect? Yeah. How it's going to be yeah. good? We need to how manpower which will be future ready. So when I was a medical student, when I was doing my MD in microbiology, my dream was to become a medical teacher. Okay. Which I became. Which you I was yes. a medical yeah. teacher for few years Yeah. Uh, before coming into the field of research. Yeah. But then I saw many of my colleagues uh, who ventured into having private laboratories mm. or working for the industry in the right. field of diagnostics or medicines or, or someone going to the UN organizations are working with NGOs. Right. So now again, it's a different generation. Mm -hmm. We don't want jo job seekers. <laughs> we want job creators. creators. So just like we have the term entrepreneur, so the right. science pruner. So we want them to be future ready. They should uh, have some startups and they should have the entrepreneur mindset, mindset. from the beginning. And we will have a uh, few uh, courses like say, uh, IPR course, so one of the IPR course is uh, being added 
uh, into the coursework for these PhD students, then we will also uh, expose them to the different uh, entrepreneurial uh, techniques. Right. I think that is so necessary. So it's good to know that the future is in good hands. It's reassuring for, for uh, all of us uh, that our children are, are in, in good hands. So, sir, um, an additional question. Then how do prospective students or even researchers actively engage with the work of ICMR and ACSIR there? So ACSIR is basically, uh, it is promoting research mm. and uh, uh, just like university, so ACSIR affiliation will be there for right uh, from the entry of the uh, students, say example for PhD program right. uh, and till their thesis is submitted, VIVA is there and uh, they are awarded yeah. the degree. Yeah. Say if I talk uh, about the example of ICMR, then they will be enrolled in one of the ICMR institutes mm -hmm. under the Faculty of Medical Research. Of course, this is not the end. There will be more and more organizations uh, uh, joined uh, to the Faculty of Medical Research and uh, there will be medical colleges, different medical organizations or the other institutes. Uh, say for example, a student, I will take the example of malaria research since uh, yes. I am working at the National Institute of Malaria Research. If a student joins a PhD program in our institute, hmm. then he will be assigned and he will choose uh, one guide. All the research which is conducted in all our institutes, it has got uh, some way relation to improving the health. So it could be a development uh, or designing of some diagnostic or some medicine or some vaccine right. or it could be some operational research uh, which could uh, lead to solving the challenges of say malaria control in right. my institute but right. that could be some other in some other institute. So their thesis will be related to some or the other topics or there will be a new topic altogether and they will be guided by efficient uh, uh, faculty uh, which have got uh, uh, good uh, publications uh, etc and uh, they will be provided uh, good funding support because they will be working in a funded project so it's a um, good future for them yeah and and very supportive actually so and uh, right from the start till the end which i yeah. think is something that a lot of people who you know get into PhDs are always concerned about because it's such yeah. a long extended period of time. So b before we let you go, what singular piece of guidance or advice would you like to extend to emerging researchers, scientists, innovators aspiring to delve into you know these realms of biomedical research and innovation? Medical science itself has got a huge impact on the life of the human beings uh, by improving their health. And if we talk about uh, medical research, it is related to improvement in the healthcare. Yes. So in some or the other way, it will improve the healthcare. Yeah. It will either lead to some diagnostic, novel diagnostic, or a new drug, uh, or a vaccine. Uh, we have seen the example of COVID-19 pandemic. ICMR was uh, at the forefront in Absolutely. the management of uh, that pandemic. But we have seen that uh, there was research in terms of development of a diagnostic. There was a development of vaccine, many vaccines in fact, and they were developed within quick time. Uh, so that uh, we are sitting Absolutely. here today, yes. even we are yes. not using the masks. Yes. So this is the impact of medical research. And uh, we would like to welcome the researchers, the students, if you are eligible to do a PhD, say if you are masters in science, in biosciences or life science or biotechnology or the related field, yes. or if you are uh, MBBS graduate or if you are a postgraduate uh, in any medical field, yes. then you can enroll in our PhD program under the ACSIR ICMR Faculty of uh, Medical Research and uh, you can choose uh, one institute and uh, some topic which could uh, interest you and which could be useful for improving the public health. So, right. so in a way you are not only doing your PhD but you are also serving the mankind in some or the other way. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. And I think this, this entire conversation, quite honestly, has been more than insightful, very informative and, and, and reassuring that 
the future is actually you know of of creators of entrepreneurs uh, that is also backed so well by science and research and and the field of medical science so thank you so much for all of your input sir and uh, if there's anything else that you would like to add uh, on this podcast before we wrap one thing i would like to add miss uh, our director general dr rajiv bayal who yes. is also the secretary of the department of health research he is uh, promoting the medical research in the country and uh, it is his brainchild we are promoting the md phd programs and we are also promoting the assistant professors in the medical colleges to okay. do their phd and icmr is also supporting their research work uh, in the form of a financial assistance and in fact uh, icmr jrf program is also there where the uh, post graduates can give the examination and they can get a fellowship and they can pursue their phd all right so thank you so much for that and thank you to all of our viewers that have tuned in and i hope this was helpful i hope this was insightful and more importantly giving you a lot more information on what the icmr is doing and all of the opportunities that are readily available if you like this content please remember to watch to like to subscribe and of course share with all of your friends you stay tuned and i'll see you later thank you keep watching